You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from critiques of the short story through to the line edits of the full-length novel and copy editing for those preparing for publication. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's file for your website, as well as help with those book blurbs and promotional material. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you and your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable, everyday carry, or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Defending Liberty, one hour at a time, and broadcasting live from the RWB Network Studios in New York City, this is the Rhino Report, always right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, in the rhythm of liberty and justice for all. We are going to make America great again. My fellow Americans, let's roll. And now, here's your host, the Rhino. Report. 
today, Monday, May 8th, 2017, and we are coming to you, of course, from the RWB Network Studios here in New York, and broadcasted live by CRN Digital Talk Radio, so it was a relatively quiet weekend over much of Central Florida, that is until the X-37B came around, while landing at Cape Canaveral this past weekend, it unleashed a sound not heard by many since the, the discontinuation of the Concorde jet. A sonic boom, rattling windows and setting off car alarms from Orlando to the Space Coast, the X-37B made touchdown after over two years in space. So, what's so special about this particular spaceship? Well, number one, it's about the quarter the size of a regular shuttle. Number two, it's unmanned. And number three, it has been the source of many conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theorists maintain the objectives of this new Air Force shuttle include surveillance, interference, and even space bombing. Yeah, space bombing. While all that sounds a bit far-fetched, the Air Force has not helped matters with their very, very vague statements. More to come on this. All right, we got a busy Monday. First off, France took a big step backwards on Sunday, voting to relinquish their own sovereignty and hand their formerly great nation over to terrorists and globalist banks. But hey, at least no one was offended. Number two on today's docket also, the days of Democrats trying to legislate from the bench may be coming to an end. President Trump is set to begin monthly waves of new judges being appointed to lower federal courts. 127 to be exact. Could new additional circuits not be too far behind? We also have a bold move by Governor Greg Abbott of Texas over the weekend making sanctuary cities a crime in the Lone Star State. This new law also addresses problems with two-tier justice. We'll tell you how. Two birds, one stone. Hey, bottom line on this one, do not mess with Texas. We also have Sally Yates. She's set to testify on the Hill today. And interesting here, which New England university, which university are black students actually looking for segregation which one do you think it is we got a big show today guys busy weekend busy monday as always you can check me out on twitter you can follow me there at rhino on air that's at rhino r-y-n-o on air you can also find us on facebook facebook.com slash the rhino report we're there you can email me you guys always email me Questions, concerns, comments, a good joke, a story I missed, something local in your area. Hey, maybe you just want to say hi. I'll say hi right back. Rhino, R-Y-N-O, at rwbnetwork.com. Don't go anywhere. We have a big show today, lots of topics. The weekends are getting busier as they go by. No rest for the weary. Hey guys, Ryan the Rhino DeSico here for my friends at Liberty HealthShare. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, listen up because you do have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here and this could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your own doctors and you choose your own hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning there are no related tax penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237 or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. Do it today. All right, guys. Welcome back to this Monday edition of the Rhino Report. As always, big shout out to those listening on Red Nation Rising Radio, the Liberty Feed, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern, live right there, as well as streamingtalkradio.com. They got our replay at night, KLR Radio, KLRN Radio. 
Fox.com. They have our replay at night, westernfreepress.com. We're on the streaming player there. And, of course, crntalk.com, Monday through Friday, live, 2 p.m. Eastern. And you got to download that app, all right? The CRN app, it's for free. I wouldn't make you pay for anything. It's for free. The Google Play or iTunes store. And you can take us wherever you go, especially on these nice weekends now. Um, it's not such a nice weekend, I guess, if you are an allergy sufferer um, like I am. I have been mainlining Claritin and Allegra and all the different allergy medicines. Hopefully, they all combine to make this Optimus Prime of allergy relief. It hasn't really happened yet, but hey, we're working through it, just like you guys are. Um, so I want to just really quickly touch on this, uh, this this spaceship, right? This X-37B. This has been the source of a lot of conspiracy theories. Um, it's like a mini shuttle. Those little shuttles you can buy when you go to Cape Canaveral or the Kennedy Space Center or I guess buy them on Amazon or whatever. Those little space, those white and black space shuttles. It's a little version of that. It's only like 15 feet wide and like 19 feet long. Uh, and it, it, it's unmanned. So they put this thing up in space, and it just it, it goes around the orbit, and we're not quite sure what it's doing. And the Air Force, their statement, because it, it's their shuttle, uh, is very vague. It just kind of says, hey, it's doing some research. Well, you know, that's what they always say, right? It's doing research. Some people say it's for surveillance, and that they've caught this thing, because it's very e You can see it, I guess, from a telescope, and... Uh, astronomers, amateur astronomers, have said they have seen this thing pass over the same areas four and five times, which I guess is what uh, surveillance satellites do. Other people have theorized that this uh, this spaceship is to interfere with other satellites. I don't know, blast them out of the sky or the space or whatever. Uh, you have a lot of these these different uh, scientists, I guess you will, knock down all these conspiracy theories. But, you know, if it was something like, hey, listen, we're trying to make space travel attainable for the every the every man, and we can prove we can keep a spaceship in the air for two years, uh, that would be a good statement. People would say, oh, okay, well, I'll buy a ticket when it comes out, right? Well, they're just not saying that. All, all the statements sort of imply that it's something very super secret going on, and it's part of the black budget, which, of course, is the, the stuff we don't see because they have to itemize it and have to answer to us. And we ask questions and and they want good citizens who don't ask questions. So they put it in, in the black budget. Uh, some people say that it's spying on the Chinese space station. Other people say it's deploying spy satellites. Some people say it's conducting space bombing. I don't know. I guess it carries bombs. And uh, where is it going? How, how would you drop a bomb from space? It have to be propelled, right? I mean, otherwise it would just float next to you. I don't think that would be. <laughs> that wouldn't be very good. The bomb just floats next to you. So I guess we won't hear much more on this, but it's worth noting because the folks in Central Florida got a got a rude awakening Sunday afternoon when this thing came by and had that sonic boom. Those are big. Those are big stories now. Big stories now. Also a big story. France. France, huh? This guy, Macron, I don't think there was much suspense here. He takes up about 66% of the vote to Le Pen's 34, just about in that area. I said the last couple of weeks, I didn't expect Le Pen to win. I thought maybe a little better showing than what the polls were intimating. And you know what? Perhaps their polling is a little bit better than our polling. It was much, much closer uh, to what their polls were saying. And, uh, you know, they keep, when you watch the news, they keep saying centrist Macron and far right Le Pen. And she's not far right. I mean, the origins of, of, of her party are not good. Uh, very anti-Semitic. And perhaps that was, was the, the straw that broke the French camel's back was the origins of of that front national party but on a, on a different level france just wasn't there now brexit had had economic impacts where people in in britain thought they would be better off if they were just a uh, sovereign completely separate from the eu and then they had trade deals with the eu as opposed to being part of this large conglomerate of countries that can't carry their own weights individually and France, France is a little bit different. The economic impacts here really have been felt for a long time. There are people that are used to living under 
socialist regime, and they didn't take it upon themselves to declare themselves sovereign. Now, when you look at a country like France or like many European countries, it's just not in their DNA. They have gone through centuries, centuries of something of a commonwealth where you would have lords and kings and monarchs and even the church would dole out money as they felt appropriate and everybody worked within the, the fields or the produced a product and money got kicked up and got siphoned back down slowly. It took them centuries to figure out how screwed they were getting before they finally revolted. See, here in this country, our country, if you go back to our original founding, you're talking about Jamestown, talking about Roanoke, these were people, for the most part, who were indentured servants, who were sent over here to try and do something, work off, you know, whatever debt they owed. Uh, they were outcasts from society from the start. They didn't want to be in England, they didn't want to be in Europe, and Europe and England didn't want them there, so they came here largely thinking that they would come here and die. Uh, some of them did, most of them did in those early settlements, and then after that, uh, they thrived. And so our, our beginnings are much, much different. Uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, much more recent, but still much different. Because at the very, very hint of there being oppression from King George III, when you look at things like the Intolerable Acts, we didn't let that go for a minute. Right away, we wanted to be our own country. We wanted to be sovereign, our own society. In Europe, they put up with this for many centuries. It's just not in their DNA to be free. It's really not. And then you look at, at Macron and you look at Le Pen and the two parties they represent. In France, it's the progressives that identify as the patriots. That's what they do, whereas here it's the Republicans and conservatives that identify as the patriots. So they play to their history, and Macron played to the history of him being a centrist, and really he's pretty far to the left. Uh, there's nothing centrist about him because he doesn't embody any ideas from the right, so you can't be a centrist. He's as bad a centrist as Bernie Sanders is independent. And that's why this didn't go Le Pen's way. Uh, I mean, you talk about you talk about Nice, you talk about Paris, the Bataclan, Charlie Hebdo, uh, these cafes, that soccer stadium. All of these terrorist attacks, they still cannot get away from their DNA of oppression. They like to be controlled. Unless, of course, you're a business in France, and in those cases, um, a lot of them are leaving. They have 75, 80% tax rate, and a lot of them are leaving. They're going to Italy, which is like leaving New York to go to Connecticut. It's not much better, but it's a little bit better. So they have rejected populism. They have, a, they have rejected sovereignty. The open borders is going to be in France. You're going to see these terrorists attack more and more and more. And France has a history of just not fighting back. And they just didn't fight back here. It begs the question, do we deal with a country, as the United States, do we deal with a country that rejects sovereignty? A value we hold very dear here in this country. All right, we'll keep going with this, plus a lot more on today's show. Do not go anywhere. Good news, everyone. Lumber Liquidators wants to send you a free catalog of hardwood flooring options. Call 800-542-0122. See how you can buy the highest quality flooring for the lowest possible prices. Here's what some of our customers have to say. I've installed a lot of hardwood floors, but this is the best bang for the buck. Call in the next 10 minutes to get your free catalog. I love Lumber Liquidators. I got quality products for less, and the online ordering was easy. At Lumber Liquidators, we buy direct from the mills, and we pass the savings on to you. Call right now and get the floor guide and catalog absolutely free. It has hundreds of top quality flooring such as solid hardwoods, laminates, bamboos, and even Bellawood pre-finished flooring with a transferable 100-year warranty. Our catalog is full of tips, ideas, and our flooring project list to help you find the right floor for you. Call 800-542-0122 and get your free catalog. 800-542-0122. That's 800-542-0122. 
the smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800 905-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's to see the memorabilia of movie stars and theatrical magic right in downtown Fullerton, California. See the art of the masters, an Italian town square complete with storefronts of old Italian butchers and cheesemongers, fruit and wine vendors, seamstresses showing their wares, fairy lights from cathedral ceilings, and our ancestors smiling down at you from the family love altar. The romance of Romeo and Juliet, and find the mystical room of the moon. And don't forget King Kong, Dracula, Frankenstein, and who knows what awaits you in the wine cellar. Enjoy the great food. We hand stuff our pastas, roll each and every tortellini, bake our own bread, make our own sauces fresh from our private stock of Sicilian family recipes. From pasta to seafood, chicken to award-winning pizzas, tiramisu flown in from Rome, if you can't find something on our menu to tempt you, you don't like Italian food. Try our Sunday brunch, just eighteen ninety five. and Angelo's and Vinci's has been named two years in a row, best Italian restaurant in Orange County. Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurant, 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. All right, guys, welcome back to this Monday edition of the Rhino Report. Check out all the older episodes on iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Stitcher, Podbean, iHeartRadio, or, of course, RhinoReport.com. They're all right there. So our media on this side of the pond... They label that front national party that Le Pen was ahead of as anti-Semitic. Of course, her father, the founder of this party, was a Holocaust denier. So they label that party anti-Semitic. But they, they refuse to label the Democrat party here as the party of slavery. So you can see how, you know, they will play whichever side of the coin they can to get what they want. Now... Le Pen was for closed borders, Macron is for open borders, Le Pen was for free trade, and and Macron is for uh, protecting these global economic competition things. Uh, uh, she wanted out of the EU, he wants in the e- EU even further, and, uh, you know, he thinks it's going to protect Europe's third largest economy. But I, I still say, like I said at the end of the break, you know, here's a country that has rejected freedom. They have rejected sovereignty. They no longer embody the same values that this country does now. Now, Macron has said he wants to work with President Trump, and President Trump put out a nice tweet congratulating Macron. What's he going to say? You know, he put out a nice tweet. But, But do you work with a country like that? How can you do that? You have a history with them. I get it. They helped us in the Revolutionary War, you know, kind of at the end, but still helped us. So there is that. It just seems tough to deal with a country now like France, which is committing itself to any number of future terrorist attacks and open borders. Very, very hard to deal with a country like that. See, and Macron can do pretty much anything he wants. There's never a lot of backlash in France, like we said in the first segment, because there's just no history of backlash. You see, the the left, the the far left in that country, they fancy themselves as as the patriots, the the Marie Antoinettes, right? Let them eat cake, the French Revolution. They they took over that part of history, and they call themselves patriots. Yet patriots in this country, we identify with things such as free speech and life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness— the Second Amendment, and the Second Amendment is what really keeps things from getting 
out of control. It keeps our leaders intact. 30 million gun owners, legal gun owners in this country with over a trillion rounds of ammunition is at the end of the day what keeps our leaders in their place. In France, they do not have that. Gun laws are, uh, you know, they're, they're so strict, guns are just about non-existent in France. And it allows for runaway control. Now, there are people in this country who want to take away your gun rights, too. People like Gabby Giffords, right? She wants to take them away. Now, there is, there is this, this, this thought that in potentially the next six months to two years, we're going to be hearing a lot about something called reciprocity. Now, what reciprocity is, is sort of like how you can get a driver's license in California and you can drive in New York and all the states in between, they honor that license. You passed your test wherever you live, and now you're free to drive across the country. Now, if you get a ticket or points, perhaps there's no reciprocity between court systems, and you may have your license suspended in one state or points don't carry over. That may be the case in some areas. But they're talking about reciprocity when it comes to gun ownership. If you have passed a firearm education class or training, if you've undergone the proper background checks, there is the possibility in the near future that we will have concealed carry reciprocity in this country. And that would be thanks to President Trump. Now, President Trump is the first president, probably in a long time, to be this close with the NRA, actively sought their endorsement and got it very easily. He has made speeches with the NRA. Donald Trump has fancied himself a protector of the Second Amendment, which is one reason why people who were maybe perhaps never Trumpers thought that this might be a good move. And people like Gabby Giffords and also Senator Chris Murphy out of Connecticut are trying to get in front of this and trying to say it is not your God-given right, despite what the Declaration of Independence and what the Second Amendment say, it is not your right to carry a gun, especially over state lines. We'll keep going with this when we get back. Plus, we got to talk about the courts. Are they going red, too? Donald Trump has a lot of appointments coming up. A wave, in fact. 127 new judges coming to a court near you. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. With a call to National Tax Helpline, you can stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs you may qualify for substantial savings so get the help you need if you owe the irs ten thousand or more call now for free information and to see if you qualify take down the number now for the tax helpline 800-565-7933 that's 800-565-7933 for free information 800-565-7933 that's 800-565-7933 these are the sounds of Colombo's Italian Steakhouse. Mm. Look at this ribeye. You see that ribeye? Fantastic. Ah, oh, incredible. You gotta try a piece of this pizza. This is delicious. Mm. Sausage and lentil soup. Special today. Very, very good. Look at this garlic bread. Mm-mm-mm. Best garlic bread I've ever had. And here's Vic Perino, owner and operator of Colombo's, with the details. A lot of the Italian recipes are my uncle's own recipes. We have a lot of people coming back for his hand-rolled lasagna. We make it basically from scratch. I, I think ours is exceptional. Here's Vic on what makes Colombo's different than other Italian restaurants. The other thing that sets us apart from other Italian restaurants is that we're an Italian steakhouse. We spend 
specialize in our steaks. Plus, there's more. We have um, entertainment seven nights a week. Uh, so they're coming for a lot of reasons. The value, their value per dollar that they're getting, plus coming into a neighborhood friendly place. So, you know, sometimes we're actually accused of being the melting pot of Eagle Rock. Columbo's in Eagle Rock on Colorado, just east of Eagle Rock Boulevard. Call 323-254-9138. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1 800 785 9618. From May 12th to 14th, the showroom at South Point invites you to remember the enchanting music of Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. The memory is a great time. Online at subpointcasino.com or charge by phone 702 797 Gary Puckett in the Union Gap at the South Point. This is Larry Elder inviting you to join me twice daily here on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Tune in to CRN3 Reagan Radio Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern for my live three hour show. And don't miss the replay of the show on CRN 1 starting at 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern. The Larry Elder Show, twice as good, two times daily, Monday through Friday on CRN. Find out more at crntalk.com. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We're talking about reciprocity. Talking about concealed carry, reciprocity between states. Can you have a concealed carry permit in New York and carry it in Iowa? Can you carry it in Missouri? Can you carry it in California? And that is something that President Trump is going to work towards. Now the question does remain, is this something you do now? Do you do it just before the 2020 election? Or is this one of those second term type of items? Can we wait for a second term? with something like this. Now, Gabby Giffords and Senator Chris Murphy are out in front. They are trying to get all these groups together to say it's not safe. We can't have guns. We cannot be trusted with such things. The gangs can have guns. The gangs can have guns. The terrorists can have guns. They buy them on the black market. They're not registered. They buy them on the black market. But they can have guns for one reason. And the Democrats will never tell you this, but the reason is because because fear makes control easier. When people are scared, they're easily controlled. They look to you for an answer, and the government would love to be there with an answer for you. When you have control over your own life and liberty, you need less government. You need less government interference. But the Obama DOJ, they thought cartels should have guns. Right? Fast and furious, gangs, cartels. No big deal. They can all have guns. In fact, we will give them guns. But not you. Not you. It doesn't matter if you took a training. It doesn't matter if you took education classes. It doesn't matter if you had a background check done. You should not have guns, and you should definitely not be able to cross state lines. What's next? Our driver's license is next? Is that what's coming next? How much control do they want? So it does beg the question, when does the president... Do something like this. I don't think the NRA is willing to wait four years. They were out there in force campaigning for President Trump. So I don't think it waits. I think this is coming sooner rather than later. On August 6th, 2013, Senator Chris Murphy out of uh, Connecticut, he said uh, the Second Amendment is not an absolute right, not a God-given right. 
it has always had conditions upon it. Whereas the, uh, the 1776 Declaration of Independence seems to uh, fly in contrast to that. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So um, they are God-given rights. Uh, that, according to Thomas Jefferson, uh, the, the first Democrat, no? The first Democrat. So uh, Also a slave owner, by the way. So... All right, let's get to um, let's get to these lower court appointments. This is where the ground game is. All right, when it comes to politics and it comes to to legislating, uh, the ground game is in the courts because everything now everybody's sue happy. So right now we do have something going on with the travel ban. The Fourth Circuit out of Richmond, Virginia, they're hearing arguments, and then the Ninth Circuit, I think next week out of California, of course, is going to hear arguments with this travel ban also. There are a few different scenarios that could happen here. I am not a lawyer, so bear with me, um, but neither is Bill Clinton. He's been disbarred. He's talked about this, so I guess that qualifies me to talk about it as well. If the Fourth Circuit and the Ninth Circuit, if they disagree on the travel ban, if the Fourth Circuit says, Nope, the travel ban's good to go, and the, ninth, and the Ninth Circuit upholds the ban on the travel ban, then that would probably prompt the Supreme Court to get involved, because they can't have two different circuits believing two different interpretations of the Constitution. So that would probably get the Supreme Court involved quickly. If these two circuits agree, and they both say, we're going to uphold the ban, or we're going to to make sure this ban is, is null and void, as it is now in the Ninth Circuit, that would now spark a trial. It would spark a trial in both circuits. And then the outcome of that trial could then go to the Supreme Court. Now, that trial could take many years. It may never get to the Supreme Court during a Donald Trump presidency. So what you're looking for here is for the Fourth Circuit to uphold the ban and say this is constitutional, it's not a Muslim ban as the left wants to portray it, and you're looking for the Ninth Circuit to say, nope, still a no-go, and then the Supreme Court gets involved. And this thing hits the Supreme Court pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. You cannot have the two circuits disagreeing with each other on the same matter. That doesn't look good. Now you have over 120, 127 to be exact, vacancies on the lower courts. And President Trump is appointing 10 people today, and there'll be more next month and the month after that, and he's going to fill these vacancies up rather quickly. You have 127 federal judge vacancies and 94 U.S. attorney vacancies, and these have to be confirmed, but you know what? No biggie. Thanks to Harry Reid and Mitch McConnell, the only bipartisan thing they've worked on in the last 20 years, totally inadvertent, they didn't mean to do it, but the only bipartisan thing we got now is we have uh, just an up or down vote. No more filibusters on judges. So um, they're saying Justice Joan Larson, she now serves on Michigan Supreme Court. She is rumored to take over or to join the bench at the U.S. Court of Appeals in the Sixth Circuit out of Cincinnati. She law clerked for Antonin Scalia. You also have David Strass. He's a former law clerk uh, law, to Clarence Thomas. He's a professor right now at the University of Minnesota. He's a golden gopher, and he's on the Minnesota Supreme Court. You have the one that Trump has already appointed that has not been confirmed yet. That's Amul Thapar. He's, um, he's a federal judge in Kentucky on the Sixth Circuit, and uh, he has not been confirmed, but he has been appointed. So the, the ball is rolling rather slowly on these, but the Democrats have been, have been slow walking everything when it comes to Trump appointments. But this is going to start picking up, and it's going to be a little bit harder for Democrats to now go judge shopping and find these judges they think will rule with them. 120 judges is a lot. It's a lot. And it's going to help. It's going to help. So you also have uh, Amy Coney Barrett, John K. Bush... Kevin Newsom, all rumored to be hitting the federal bench in the next couple of months. So, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, 
we're working on changing the bench here because that has been the number one stopper for President Trump at this point. All right, when we come back, we'll talk about the rumors of a vacancy on the Supreme Court bench. Plus, what did Greg Abbott do in Texas that says you do not mess with Texas? We'll be right back. Hey guys, Ryan the Rhino DeSico here for my friends at Liberty HealthShare. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, listen up because you do have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here and this could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your own doctors and you choose your own hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning there are no related tax penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237 or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. Do it today. The legends of Kanapali Luau at the Kanapali Beach Hotel will take your breath away with an abundant feast, spellbinding dances, and music from Le Pono Productions. Be greeted with a lay and browse to see island crafts made by local artisans. As you hear the poo or conch shell blow, your luau experience will begin. The featured entree is a whole roasted pig and a bountiful menu of some of Hawaii's favorite food choices. Oh, you can't forget our famous made in house taro poi. As your night comes, to an end under the spell of the moon. Be amazed by the famous firewalk. By the end of the night, you'll be full and we hope you'll have made new friends and some forever memories while you continue to listen to music from Maui's local Hawaiian musicians every Monday night at Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel. Kanapali Beach Hotel voted best Aloha Spirit by Hawaii Magazine readers. Call 667-0128 or visit legendsofkaanapali.com for your exciting island adventure. inadvertently worked together bipartisanly over the course of four years to allow President Trump to now appoint 127 new judges to the lower court benches. And I have actually on good information now from my Michigan source that Justice Joan Larson is solid. All right. She's solid and uh, they don't want to lose her in Michigan. So that's a good sign. But it'll be a good sign on the Sixth Circuit in Cincinnati. Um, Sixth Circuit needs a little bit of help. Not a ton. Not as much as the Ninth. The Ninth needs a lot more help. (laughs) Which also begs the question, you know, there's nothing in the rule book here that says there have to be X number of circuits. There could be 25. There could be 30. There could be two. So, you know, hey, do you start making changes? You have the Ninth Circuit is overturned 80% of the time. That's a large number for a bunch of people who are supposedly bipartisan, supposedly are blind, right? The scales of justice, they're blind. Well, not so much. In the Ninth Circuit, doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on, you can't say that they're bipartisan. You can't say that they rule without favor. You just can't say it. It's like saying that mainstream media is not biased. If you're on the left, you are enjoying it. Hey, good for you. You got a win on this one. You got somebody in your corner. It hasn't really made a difference, but you got someone in your corner. And even the person furthest to the left can't say that they're not biased. Well, the same goes for the Ninth Circuit. So, a lot of rumors, right, about Justice Kennedy. The guy's 80 years old. He isn't the oldest. No. RBG, she is close to 300 years old. I think I keep changing her age whenever I say it. But she's very old. Very, very old. But Kennedy, he may be the one um, that may leave. Uh, You're hearing uh, Chuck Grassley said maybe this summer. He had a little birthday party for himself uh, a little bit earlier than normal, and they think maybe that might signify him leaving early. His former law clerks, who were remaining anonymous, are saying that 
Uh, at the latest, he would leave in 2018. They're also saying that Kennedy would prefer to be replaced by a Republican. Now, Kennedy, of course, appointed by Reagan. He has been something of a swing vote. He's sided with the left on uh, gay rights, abortion rights, uh, death penalty stuff, people being detained at Gitmo. On the right, he sided with conservatives with the twenty uh, the 2000 elections, gun rights, regulation of campaign money. I mean, but really, I think more decisions. I don't have the actual number in front of me, but I believe more decisions have been on the left than the right, uh, you know. But still, he's going to be replaced by somebody on that list that President Trump has, that Heritage gave him, and uh, we'll, we'll get somebody good there. I think uh, we've heard Senator Ted Cruz intimate that he believes Justice Kennedy uh, will be leaving fairly shortly. 29 years on the bench. That's a long time. That's a long time. The guy's 80. He wants to retire. Most of us want to retire at 45. 40 if we can. We're stuck until we're 62 or 70 years old. This guy's got it pretty good. He goes over to Austria. He teaches college in the summertime in Austria. You got RBG. She's 84. And then you got Stephen Breyer's ice cream. He's uh, 78. He's no spring chicken either. He looks like he's in a little better shape than Ginsburg. There was an article in Politico. I think it was ah, a month ago, maybe, maybe two months ago where the reporter, there, there was a reporter doing a story on Ruth Bader Ginsburg and said that she has some incredible workout routine that he couldn't even keep up with her. That's how in shape Ruth Bader Ginsburg is. Now, this reporter must be a real wuss to not keep up with an 84-year-old. I don't care if you're Jack LaLanne. I can keep up with your routine. I challenge Ruth Bader Ginsburg to a pull-up contest. How about that? I'll put that on there. Or a push-up contest. Maybe a bench press contest. This reporter, what are you doing? What's the most weight this guy carries? A camera around his neck? That's all he's got? There's, oh, you should have read the... I printed the article out. We didn't actually talk about it on the show. I was going to talk about it, and then there were more important things. But I do remember reading it and thinking, what kind of sort of man are you? That <laughs> you can't... Keep up with an 84-year-old woman in a workout routine. I don't care if you eat Cheetos for an appetizer before your three Whoppers. You can still keep up with her. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, this is big news. Big, big news. Greg Abbott, he, you know, this is great. He goes on Facebook Live, Governor Greg Abbott, great state of Texas, and he signs this, this executive order uh, making it illegal to be a sanctuary city or county, or town, or municipality, or public park, or whatever it is, in Texas. And that uh, if, if the feds inquire, you can't obstruct. You must, you must reveal immigration status. You can't just, you can't catch and release. You can't obstruct. You can't say, no, we're not going to hold them. Uh, you know what? It seems like law and order. It seems like if you catch a criminal, and they happen to be illegal, that they can be deported on those charges that are not related to their immigration status, which is in lockstep with what the president is doing. He's not deporting anybody because they came here illegally yet. He's deporting people who are criminals who are committing crimes while being here illegally. Your being here illegally is just the predicate for your deportation based on a criminal act while you were here. And Greg Abbott agrees. And a lot of Texas agrees. And there are even sheriffs in Texas who have who have vehemently opposed this, who are now saying they will follow the law. You know why? Because in this executive order, if you don't, if you're a public official, you, my friend, are going to jail. It's about time somebody had the balls to do this. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. With a call to National Tax Helpline, you can stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced 
reduced settlements and other favorable programs, you may qualify for substantial savings. So get the help you need. If you owe the IRS 10000 or more, call now for free information and to see if you qualify. Take down the number now for the tax helpline. 800-565-7933. That's 800-565-7933 for free information. 800-565-7933. That's 800 800- 565-7933. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. You order a glass of your favorite Cabernet, fresh asparagus, hollandaise on the side, a filet, medium rare. You unfurl your napkin with a flare, close your eyes, and prepare to listen. Ah, there it is. The sweet music you long to hear. The sizzle. The sizzle of a Ruth's Chris steak. The most magnificent corn-fed prime beef, broiled to perfection at 1,800 degrees. Some call it a sizzle. We call it an anthem. As the waiter approaches, you think, is this one mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at ruthschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. Hi, friends. This is Larry Manetti. Go to larrymanetti.com to get my book, Aloha Magnum. You'll read all about the wonderful guest stars like Carol Burnett, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and many, many more. There is an episode guide and my favorite recipes that I really cook at home. I will include a free signed photo with every book. Get Aloha Magnum at LarryManetti.com. Order now. Aloha. Welcome back. This is the last segment. Boy, I lost track of time. I have so much more fun to talk about today. I guess we have to do a two-hour show. Can you put up with me for two hours? That'd be too much to ask. Hey, before we get too far, I did want to tell you about something that I found. And if you have been suffering from, like, depression, you know, lack of energy, sleeplessness, chronic pain, if you're stressed out all the time, I want you to check out my friend Michael Terrell. Michael Terrell was on this show a couple of weeks ago, and he is the creator and musician behind Whole Tones. All right, Whole Tones is this, is this healing music therapy, and he's taken it to Fort Drum, to Fort Hood. He's working with veterans who have PTSD and TBI and helping them live better lives. And their families are thanking him. He was getting emotional on this show talking about it. So you go to wholetones22.com. Wholetones22.com. And you can look at the samples. You go down to the bottom of the page, and there's like, I think, eight or nine different samples. They're like 15 or 20 seconds long. You listen to them, and you're going to feel better almost instantly. My favorite one is The Bridge. I think it's the second one. It's The Bridge. So Wholetones22.com. W-H-O-L-E-T-O-N-E-S-2-2.com. Check those out. You're going to like them. Guarantee it. Um, So going back to Texas here, just for a minute. Just for a minute. What's going to happen here is if these elected officials, these sheriffs, county managers, whomever it may be, if they don't follow this new law signed by Greg Abbott, making it illegal to have a sanctuary city, town, municipality, public park, school, whatever it may be in the state of Texas, you could go to jail for a year. How much would you like to see Eric Garcetti in jail? Bill de Blasio, in jail. Rahm Emanuel, in jail. Ooh, wouldn't that be sweet? That would be so much fun. Now, you'll never see a, a Governor Cuomo do something like this. But I believe Jeff Sessions and President Trump are working towards this. And we'll see what happens. But good. Good for Greg Abbott. This is a good move for his state. Very good move for his state. And it does bring up the, you know, the idea of perhaps some of these 
criminal aliens may self-deport. It, it's very possible. If they're going to be, you know, pushed on a plane anyway, maybe they'll self-deport. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. I think Democrats should self-deport. It's just leave. Go to Canada. If you think the way Canada does it is so much greater, so much better, go there. Or go to France, better yet, right? They'll take you. Open borders now. Macron, yay, open borders. Take our Democrats. And then we'll take your conservatives. They can come here. They can open businesses. They can own a gun. And they can come here. And we'll have a nice conservative country here. And then all you little crybaby Democrats, you can go to Canada, you can go to France, you can go wherever you want. Wherever your little heart desires, we won't stop you. Yeah, maybe they should self-deport. Maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow. I have a lot of ways to get crybabies, snowflakes, liberals, Democrats to self-deport. A lot of little laws that would make them lose their little minds. We'll talk about those tomorrow. How about that? And we'll talk about this Sally Yates stuff tomorrow, too. We'll get the transcripts. We'll see what's going on with her. She, you know, The Democrats are all happy. She's got she's to out the Trump administration for ties to Russia. No. What, what we're going to find out here is how did the New York Times find out about any investigation with Lieutenant General Michael Flynn? That's more the issue. Flynn is gone. He lied to the president. He lied to the vice president. He's gone. Now we need to know... Who of the Obama holdovers is the leak? And the leak may be sitting right in front of Congress today. All right, guys. Hope you had a good one today. Hope you learned something. Hope you learned something today. Join me tomorrow. A big thank you to all those serving our country at home and abroad. And a huge thank you to those in the law enforcement community. Big thank you for all you do. Thank you for all the help. Please keep it up. And above all, please stay safe. Guys, God bless all of you. God bless all of your families. Have a great rest of your day. And until tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. I'm the Rhino, and I'm out.